Hello, good people. What's going on? Um, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Still, it's like around 10.30 here in Dhaka. So I want to review this uh, fragrance for you. It's House of Gyalan. A little bit of the upper scale line, niche line. So this fragrance called Boam Stereo. I think that's the name. Uh, these are new style bottles and uh, some of these fragrances, they get discontinued and whatnot. So big thanks to Dr. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bai, my dear brother. Uh, he lent me his fragrance. He got this recently. It's a test unit. Uh, but it's 100 ml and you can get like these fragrances for i think a little bit cheaper price tag than full presentation all right so I'll, i'm still not feeling like you know coming in front of the camera uh, i perhaps will do it later but feeling a little bit low um, a little bit down for some reason for last few days so anyway gilan you guys know my growing love for gilan this house i feel is truly a mysterious house i'm growing my interest and i also like you know a little bit um uh, a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, weak for the house nowadays. You know, whatever I smell from Gelan, it feels like, oh, you know. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. So, tester box. You're going to get this generic box, like typical tester. It doesn't say tester big, but it will say somewhere. I think it's a demonstration tester. It's written there. And nothing much to the box, but at least something better than nothing. Uh, but if you buy a full presentation, I think you get a nice box. The bottles here, uh, um... I feel uh, like, you know, I'm like in the middle. I don't know, I'm like kind of like split between uh, I like it or don't like it. These are glass. The paint is kind of like brown. And all these bottles, I feel they have this uh, not really premium feel. Like, you know, like how Montals are. This got this crystal ball there. Got this nice bow tie thing. And it's nice, you know. So I have it on the paper. Let me show you the sprayer. And the caps remind me sort of like uh, uh, some other houses. Um, I forgot the name, but yeah, it has similarity to other houses. Let's spray this. Really nice prayer. Beautiful demonstration. Uh, clicks on to place. So let's review this. So I tried this fragrance a few days. Um, I actually like it a lot. This fragrance is a bit tough. I mean, it smells familiar at the same time it feels... And not really easy to explain. So basically, when I look at Fragrantica, I see a nose breakdown. I was looking for nose breakdown. I want to match. First impression I got from this one is a little bit spicy, sandalwood, and uh, kind of like ambery. Okay, so that's what I got to my nose. But uh, as time progressed, when I smell this, you know, a little bit spicy. Okay, uh, <laughs> more and more you smell very little citrus. What I really get from this is kind of like uh, raisiness ambery think of fragrances like amber blend by davidoff even has a similar uh, coloration and stuff like similar theme but uh, to my nose this fragrance smells like i smelled this before like think of little bit like uh, by the fireplace or uh, amber blend as i showed you or uh, what's the other fragrance i'm thinking there is some other fragrances that smell like this i smelled it before so i like it yeah, i like it a lot uh, but this is actually unisex and it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea if you do not like fragrances that has cedar patchouli raisin um that has something like i think bay leaf or something i forgot but uh, basically very uh, winter style fragrance kind of spicy mild spicy and that leather so i think the fragrance will be not very intense but longevity is good i got about eight hours from this on my skin so that's good for longevity I can see uh, sort of uh, the unisex vibe this gives off, like if you're wearing uh, leather gloves, brown gloves like this color, and you're wearing scarf, you know, like scarf and then, you know, like heavy jacket, winter jacket, this would be really, really comfy. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's, I'm getting that amber blend over and over again. Maybe something I smell from House of Mercedes Benz, I cannot remember at this point, or something from a Dunhill signature line. Okay, but uh, the fragrance pretty uh, cozy, pretty uh, sophisticated. Yeah, Grand Soir. If you think of MFK Grand Soir, this fragrance gives me the same feel. Um, I would say definitely try before you buy. It's not a safe blind buy. It can be a little bit, uh, you know, some people who have niche, you know, like in their collection, even you have been smelling some niche fragrances. This one will come off easy, easy love. But if you are not used to this style of fragrance, I mean, if you're looking for something that is crowd pleaser, or something in designer line this is a little bit leaning towards niche what i mean by that is that a little bit challenging okay it's not gonna be like you smell it and instantly you can say oh i love this you know like this is so easy like your sauvage blood chanel or aventus okay not gonna happen uh you can wear this for uh dinner time let's say you're going with somewhere 
with your family, with dinner plans, you know, you're going out, people will definitely uh, smell you and then they give you compliments, okay? Uh, the fragrance is a little bit upscale, not really style casual. Uh, like when the winter is here, December time, this is going to be really beautiful. So I think it has some connection with some of the guirlands that I smelled before. Let me smell it last time. But such a beautiful fragrance. It, I would imagine this is going to be from Dior's Privé line. Like something in line with, I think, uh, let me see if I have it. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not the most, <laughs> uh, what do you call, organized guy. Uh, if you know this fragrance from, I, I don't, I'm not trying to say by any means this is the same fragrance, but if you know Bois d'Argent by Dior, I have a miniature here. Uh, if you know these fragrances, okay, I'll put it next to it. It looks very cute. So if you know Bois d'Argent, it's one of my favorite fragrances. It's really beautiful, cozy. I think this is the most beautiful fragrance creation from this line, followed by Fifth Delicious and some other ones. Uh, let's say Udis Pahan, but if you love fragrances in this style, Bois d'Argent, you're definitely going to like Bois uh, Mysterio. Um, it's a mysterious fragrance at the same time. It's very simple, um, but I wouldn't say it's a blind by word. They're very beautiful, uh, nicely crafted, smooth fragrance, okay? Just one thing I don't like is, I will be honest, I don't like these bottles. They look uh, kind of like... <laughs> I, I like flashy stuff. You know, I even like fragrance bottles. I, I'm a little bit sucker for that. I mean, if you put a little bit effort on the bottles, like previously they made Tonk Imperial, you know, like Angelique Noir, those special like Cure Beluga, those style bottles, so much premium. At the side has this golden um, plate and then it has a puff sprayer. I don't know what you call that, the pump sprayer. Uh, that looked really, really good. Even with the sprayer, with that box, it looks very premium. This one is cheaper than those, but uh, I would rather pay for the presentation on those. If this fragrance came in those bottles, I would give this a perfect 10. But since it doesn't, I'll give this 8.5 out of 10, how much I like it. It's nice. You can try it definitely. It changes a little bit over time, but that leather is very uh, refreshing, like a fresh leather. So if you like that fragrance, but you don't have that budget, you can try the blend line. You can try the leather blend. You can try amber blend or any other blends or you can try fragrances like uh, I would suggest not that one sorry like a little bit stronger would be Bentley for many intense this is also leather based so not same fragrances but similar genre so 8.5 out of 10 for the Boa Mysterio definitely try it out from House of Gelan thank you doctor very much for your bottle courtesy and I think I'll call it a night take care guys good night from Dhaka Bangladesh bye bye